is our first evaluator of the evening, Joe Jones, who will be evaluating that. Thank you, Mike. My pleasure this evening to evaluate Bevan on his. All right, you got an excuse. You don't have to stand up. Be seated. Be seated. I can stand. Be seated. If it takes you as long to stand as it did for you to get in the meeting, we'll be finished. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your icebreaker with us this evening. The first thing, and I had to be out of the room for a, a, a few couple of minutes when you started. I had to go ameliorate uh, myself. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I caught though when I walked in that really impressed me, and I've never heard anyone, even a speaker or especially anyone doing their, their icebreaker, talk about how they have an anchor trigger that reminds them every day to be their best. That was the thing that stuck most in my mind about your icebreaker. Great, great icebreaker, great approach. One of the things that you might consider in the future is when you speak, and you've heard this before, this is the invisible shield right here. When you start going past people, then unless you want to show off your butt, <laughs> all right, you, you don't play out in here. Now, Cheryl could have done it with pickleball, but this is the invisible line right here. So try not to go past it because you'll have people looking at your back, and that's not the best way to speak. We all pretty much agree that, and in a contest, they'll just be cute if you go outside the speaking area. <clears throat> One other suggestion is, I don't know how often you were able to practice your speech before you gave it, but it's a good idea to practice it and time yourself so that you know about how much time you're taking. They asked you how much time you needed, and I think you said five to seven, is that right? Mm -hmm. Typical icebreaker is four to six, but you can make it whatever length you want. But your time was four minutes and 13 seconds. And so you came in quite a bit under your time. So when you practice your speech, start to kind of time yourself so you get an idea how long you're going to speak and give yourself about <clears throat> 20 seconds either way and that way you won't be dq because you took too little time or too much time so when it's four to six it's really just five you're nailing it at around five 20 seconds up 20 seconds down four, four to six is typically an icebreaker but if you ask for five to seven then five is the minimum length of time you need to speak and seven is the max and you, you know, you've got a, a 30 seconds on either side of it. Okay. Now, what I've done a long time ago was I, I would write my speeches out. I don't know if you do that. Some people do, some don't. And when I wrote it out on Microsoft Word, I knew how many words <coughs> I had. And then I practiced it so I knew how long it took. And my speech rate is 120 words a minute. So I know that I've written a 700-word speech. I'm going to go over. So that's something that, that may help you as well. <coughs> Very good projection. Everyone could hear you very well. No notes. Very impressive. And I wish we could have learned a little bit more about Bevan than Michael Jordan. But it was very inspirational what you shared with us. So, thank you.